Hello guys, welcome back. So Sonon here. This is the daily grind. This is Saint Seiya Awakening, and I finally got Zoko in my lineup, and I'm working on him. Um, but I'm also working on bringing Saga to level 70, and I'm really hoping that next week I finally have him full rebirth, six stars, level 80, just to finish the storyline. I managed to to finish the chapter 15 today and I'm very very happy um, just quick tidbits this video is going to be about uh, Galaxy Duel but also some pointers for you people if it's Friday or Saturday in the game you can play this thing the Virgo Shaka quiz where you get uh, well a Questioner, which is the biggest island in the world? Uh, I think it's Greenland. Uh, you get 10 tries every day, 10 for Friday, 10 for Saturday. And after you answer them correctly, you get prizes. Who is this saint? That's Sean. Uh, you can keep playing, of course. It's a, a trivia questioner and it it repeats over and over yeah it's around 300 questions or something uh, so you can keep you can keep coming back to learn about the game if you don't know the lore the true identity of the grand pope uh, i think it's this one uh, but these guys um, mess that up the question sometimes like this one is uh clipped so you don't actually know the whole question but the prices are good you can get gems you can get summoning stars at random of course and you only have 10 10 prices so it's not like you're going to be pulling a lot of summoning stars out of that thing but it's worth your while to do that okay so now let's go into galaxy I'm already done, it's about to finish for the day, yeah, but I wanted to show you my wins towards Platinum rank. I'm at Platinum 5 now. Okay, <coughs> okay let's try one life and see, um, see how I do, because uh, most people are starting to go into level 70 for their tunes so that's my cue right there to start leveling people up I can no longer stay like this at level 60 and the supports at 40 I have to really start working on my lineup now and this is my current PvP lineup for the live version for Awakening uh, I, ha I have seen people ask me about a good lineup for PvP. Well, without knowing who you have, and since there is not a single dominating uh, lineup in the game, some characters look very powerful right now, like Saga looks like uh, you cannot beat him. Some Ayolos look like you cannot win versus an Iolos team but this is not true uh, once you start leveling up your characters and your cosmos it will be more and more difficult for example this build is AOE debuff both Saga and and Mu are equipped with a debuffing legendary cosmos so they bring the attack on the whole enemy team down and okay saori has no one you can only put death immunity on two guys at the same time so now the whole enemy team is 30 percent is doing 20% less damage and they stop being 
uh, worrisome. Now this is a neat thing for Athena. You can porch the ice coffin just like that. So whenever you see Athena on the enemy team, uh, deal with her as, as fast as possible. And there you go. So level your guys up. It, it pays in the end. I think uh, well let's see if I can get another one. Oh, cool but it's about to end so maybe two live instead of showing you repeats but this is the this is the mechanics for this composition Athena can keep up to two guys from dying okay so banning this is what makes high level PvP fun. You get to ban one character for the other guy. Yeah, I know Doko is popular, but he's not that popular to warrant banning. If you cannot deal with a Doko, then you're having bigger trouble than that. Like, the guys you should really be, be banning are support tombs. Like, yeah, now he doesn't have June. So he's going for silence, okay. So this is just... Uh, let me protect my healer first. He's probably going to silence Saga because that's what everybody does. And barrier on Athena. Because people are predictable like that. Oh. Oh, 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 now he surprised me. But that's a moot point anyways. Lately, my Skilla hasn't been working correctly. Like, he doesn't get a multi-strike off enough for it to matter. Everybody gets debuffed. I feel like I'm doing too little damage, so let me check. Okay, this is uh, 40, 46. I think that's a 68. Yeah. Level 60. Level 70, yeah. This amount of level disparity is very, very hard to surmount. Like, that's a near level 70 Shaka with a ton of HP. And a level 70 Leo versus level 60 and 40 guys. So that's 270s, 160 versus 260s and mostly 40s. But I don't care. Uh, this is a honest channel. I'm, I'm not editing 
stuff out like oh he beat me so i'm not going to upload this and i'm and i'm only going to upload my wins no now this is not a channel like that and besides like this one this loss and that's two four five wins in a row before that one and you can't fake this also some losses but most of my losses are versus guys with much higher level characters and and they fight for that win because I make them stay until they kill the last one of my characters if you're interested in knowing this is my current saga build and if you ask me where did you get that double s cosmos well you have to play bounty i have already told you play bounty uh, do all your quests every day trying to farm cosmos from the titan shrine is pointless the drop rate is atrocious you are more likely to get uh, this type of cosmos out of the bounty and this is the debuff cosmos i was talking about and if you're going to build a saga ooh, i'm missing just a tiny bit okay this one is pointless so i'm gonna use this to bring my Ugh. my defense even higher um, Saga needs a lot of speed to work he's more threatening when he goes during the first uh, parts of the round now if you notice I already have 97 speed and I was lucky because one of these cosmos this one I I got with the speed now Whenever you get a new superstat, you can come here, come here to the upgrade screen, click on refine, and as long as you have those green gems, you can try to bring that speed or whatever stat you want even higher. But the speed is one of the most difficult superstats to get upgrades for. And the maximum you get out of this is like 16 per superstat. You can try to get the speed on every cosmos, but it's going to take you a while. No, nope. it's just refusing to go above 13 for now. Gonna stop at 200 refining stones and uh, I saw somebody asking about how to use the the Cosmo locks well for example uh, now that I have the 13 or if I had the, the speed at full and I didn't want that that superstat to be modified. All I have to do is click on the lock button here. I'm going to use that for the physical attack. And as you see, a, a new image has been added to the lower end of the screen, to the bottom row. Now I, I have my physical attack superstat locked, so it's not going to be modified. But it consumes one lock every time I press the bottom. Look at the bottom of the screen where the green thing is. Now there's a silver lock there and that's how you use the locks. They are for keeping the stats in place and no lock for me right now. And my Mu build, mostly the same, but Mu requires lots of HP. So any substat 
with HP, any cosmos that has HP, equip that on Mu. Because his shield works as a percentage of his total health. And you can triple or quadruple his Cosmo attack stat. His AoE has very, very crappy damage. What you want is for those shields to absorb a lot of damage during two rounds. So they, that damage gets converted into true damage for the AoE. And that way you can clear entire teams with a single move. And this is my build for Doko. Th this is how you should build him. Lots of critical uh, damage and chance and a lot of physical attack. But also uh, increase his health pool. Doko has very low HP. If you think that Doko is very resistant, that's because his 7 cents allows him to block damage and he gets an increased defense stat for the rest of the fight whenever he blocks with the shield and gets a, and gets a dragon soul but his HP is nothing to write home about you have to increase that stat as soon as possible or else he is going to be killed real quickly because he is also very low on Cosmo defense and most of the heavy hitters in this game are from Cosmo Attack. Well, anyways, that's all for the video. I hope you had fun. Uh, I have news for you. If their release uh, schedule is the same as, as the Chinese version, then as soon as the Doko banner ends, we are going to get Sea Dragon Cannon as the next banner. That's the twin brother of Gemini Saga and he's also very powerful and if you can get both in in the same team then you have a killer AoE team. So that's it. Keep grinding on. We'll be seeing each other next time.